Hello Gemini, this is your December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Geminis, but I'm hoping to reach the masses, as I tell you all the time. But this is for Gemini, December 2018. Gemini, December 2018. Full Celtic Cross Comprehensive for Gemini. Hope November was good to you. Was November good to you? I really do hope so. Let's see what December brings. Beginning energies, that is. For right now. The Lust card. The Lust card is getting the things you desire and want and really, really uh, need in life or you think you need it in life. Sometimes it is lust, you know, but basically strong desires and positive desires because it's in the upright. Current situation, the lovers. I got that for um, Taurus. Any of you involved with a Taurus? But um, the lovers card is in the upright. Actually, I got the two of cups with Taurus, I think. But this is the lovers card. It's in the upright, and it's a great card. It's about... Um, coming together with somebody, coming together with your mirrored partner. So we got the lust card there, and you got lovers. So hmm, could be a lustful situation that is positive for you and the person that's with you, possibly. That's the current environment or the subject at hand. Could be thinking about this person in lust, or they could be thinking about you. What's crossing is the Queen of Discs. The Queen of Disc. It's usually a sound person. I like the Queen of Disc. But they can be an Earth energy or someone taking on that energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But for some reason, it's crossing the lover situation, and I will clarify that. Sometimes it's a positive cross. Now they say it should be all negative. But I have to clarify to know if they're positive or negative in this situation. And I will so in a second. Goal is to come out of feeling stuck. From an ending that, that happened, you're stuck on something, possibly. Or something could be trying to resurrect itself that maybe shouldn't, but I need clarifiers for that. Because I am reading for the mass, this is why I do the clarifications like this. It makes more sense, because I'm trying to read for a lot of people. Some say read less cards. I say no. For the masses, you got to put in more cards. <clears throat> the moon card as the foundation. I don't like the moon card. Moon card is about things hidden, deceptions, sometimes. Sometimes it's psychic abilities. But when I when I get these card when I get this card, it's usually something that's hidden, and I don't like things hidden. That's why I, I read tarot. So it's there, I'll clarify that too. In the past there was a failed situation. Something you were working on, and you're still thinking about it from the past. It is a past situation now. It's something that didn't work out, or something you're trying to figure out how to make it work in the past. Near future, got a lot of this from the others. Four swords coming out of from feeling depressed and laying in bed, and, or sitting on the couch too much, or not getting out enough. Or recuperation. You're coming out of that. You're going to start working on things again in the near future. Putting yourself out there. I'm going to put four more cards out to read and clarify shortly. But I want to get these situated before I move on to the distant future. Let's clarify the near future first. Got the lover's card. And the Queen of Discs crossing it. I need to know why it's there for Gemini. The Lovers, why are you there? Queen of Discs, why are you there for Gemini? Prince of Cups. It could be involved uh, another person. I'm not saying there's a third party. I'm just saying someone is involved in a situation that possibly caused an upset. It could be the Prince of Cups. 
Or the Prince of Cups could feel very upset because of the Queen of Discs. Or you could be feeling upset with these two people. And it could be, like I said, a lover situation. Prince of Cups is in reverse. It could be a water sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Can I get another card for the lovers? Queen of Disc and the Prince of Cups in reverse. Oops, popping out. If someone's chained and obsessed, they feel chained to a certain situation they, they're having trouble breaking free from. Let's find out what that, that death card in reverse is about. Death card in reverse is the goal. It's your goal. It's what's crowning you or something like that. Um, the death card in reverse. Why are you there? To make negative choices that you may have to end something that you feel really st stuck about, you know? You feel like... It's like worse than death to you. It's like, oh, this is death. This is I gotta end something because the options out there aren't very good, but at the same time you don't want to. It's like you're split between deciding what to do. And you feel like no matter what you do, the decision will be wrong. But the death card and the seven of cups, why are you there for Gemini as the goal? Or what crowns them. Strife. Competition. Not wanting to battle. You're really not wanting to battle. You just want the things to calm down. But Gemini. A lot of people stuck here. Not wanting to let go. I see that. The moon card is there. As the foundation. The moon card. Why are you there for Gemini? Love, two of cups, perceptions in love, hidden things in love, not knowing what to do in love. Ooh, something tried to pop out with the Prince of Disc. Now, I could have been uh, reverse or upright, but I'm putting it there because it tried popping out or did pop out. Prince of Disc, Earth Energy, someone taking on energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, as we said before. One more card for this. This is interesting. Hidden things, possibly not seen clearly, in love with the Prince of Disc. Another card for Gemini with the Moon card. Lovers in reverse here. So yeah, they're, you're having a sticky situation, Gemini. And it has to do with love, I'm pretty sure. Could have to do with family love. I don't see it as work love, but I could be wrong. For a few of you, it could be. But there's some deceptions. It has to do with the earth energy. We did see a water energy where one is in, one loves one more than the other. Or is trying to decide who they want to be with more. And they're keeping things under wrap. Whether you're doing this or the person around you is doing this. The other person. Another person. In the past you had a failed situation with the seven of pentacles. And you were thinking about how to work it out. Seven of Pentacles, why are you there? For Gemini in the past. Yeah, you're not happy about it. Just tells me it's not a happiness. You weren't wishing this. You weren't wanting this. This failed situation. Can I get another card for the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups in reverse? There's that Moon card again. Oh. Yeah, we got a full moon. I'm reading this or right after the full moon. I just read this, so that kind of makes sense in a way. Um, yeah, deceptions, failed situations, not happy. This also represents sort of like a depressed state, too, to me. The moon is emotions and watery type energy. If you see me being quiet, it's because I'm, I'm looking at it and trying to pick up the energies. Near future. Let's go near future. No longer taking a break. No longer holding back. No longer sitting on the couch watching too much TV. No more vacation time. It's time to get up and going and move in. Four of Swords. In reverse. Why are you there? Could be some of you are coming out of illness, too. For some of you. Just a few of you. Four of Swords. In reverse, why are you there? Oops, oops. 
This is trying to pop out and I'm going to let it. That's coming out of feeling betrayed, feeling like things gone wrong, things ended. You're coming out of that. I get it. Oops, kind of come out because you were in hermit mode for a while there. You're needing to come out of that because you were in hermit mode. You were thinking about the destruction something caused, the negativities in the past. But you're breaking from that. You're coming out of that. One more card for that. Four of Swords in Reverse. Why are you there? It's telling me you were thinking just a little bit too much before. Princess of Swords in Reverse. That could be your energy. You were a little turned around. It's telling you to come out. The universe, if you're listening to this path, it's saying you need to come out of whatever yuck you're feeling. Because I did see an oppressive situation. You got the death card, not knowing where to turn, not wanting to really fight and argue. Kind of depressing. But it looks like you're going to come out of that. You're going to come out of this hermit situation. You're still feeling a little bit turned around, though. You're still feeling not yourself. But we're going to go into the distant future a little bit more. Usually this comes up pretty quickly, so I'm assuming you're going to do it within the first week of December coming out of here doing this. But this is the advice from the universe for possible future outcome if you follow the advice. The advice says to gain your victory. Take your victory. It's there. You've got to motivate yourself to take this victory. Six of Wands, why are you there? The victory card for Gemini. Princess of Wands, take a victory over the Princess of... Take a victory over the Princess of Wands. Something was in reverse. You could be taking on this energy too. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in reverse. You can be victorious over this negative situation, but you got to put the effort out. Wands is putting some effort. Can I get another card? For the Six of Wands and the Princess of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you can overturn this situation, this negative situation. I don't know what's causing it, but you can have abundance again. But some of you are stuck in this mode of negativity from the past, thinking about failures, thinking about deceptions, thinking about endings. Sweep it under the rug. Shake it off and, and break yourself out so you can gain this victory and have abundance again. Because the universe will open that door. Now, this, if you listen to this, this could happen, but I'm going on now. Let's see what outside energies are bringing in or what's causing some of this. Maybe someone offered someone a new love or this could be coming towards you. Or a loving kind offer. A new one because it's the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, why are you there? Coming towards Gemini or the outside environment, why are you there? It's causing this. Money. You got something good coming your way. You better get out of that yuck mode. Because you got something good coming your way. Do not let it pass you by. Can I get another card? For the Ace of Cups and the Wealth card. Final stability. Riches sometimes. Can I get another card for Gemini? Gemini looks like something successful is kind of coming your way. Yeah, something's breaking free. With the Seven of Swords in reverse, it's breaking free or breaking out of situations you don't want to be in or hidden situations. It's breaking out. It's coming towards you. With a new love offer or a new cup offer that brings stability. You better wake up. You better bring yourself out of that because it looks like it's going to happen if you let it. But I do see you still stuck in your head and it kind of worries me that some of you will stay there. Because you do have your own uh, free will. But if you feel these energies coming about, try to break free. You know, your, ho your hopes and fears is a nine of uh, it's a nine of wands. It's in reverse. And you're feeling a fear that you will not recover. It's in your head. Your fear is, I won't recover. I, won't, I don't have the strength for this. Can I get another card for this for Gemini? You're afraid of disappointment. 
afraid you won't be able to have the strength and the courage to carry on because of all the disappointments. And that is you. You still feel turned around. You've got to break out of that, I'm telling you. Put that out of your head. Do a mantra. Do a meditation. Talk yourself out of it every day. Look at the goals. Look at the positives. And don't think of the negatives, whatever they are. Final outcome, still thinking about the past in a negative way. It's the Six of, of Cups. It could be that sometimes someone that you don't want to hear from may contact you that shouldn't be contacting you, that you shouldn't really be thinking about. Six of Cups in reverse while you're there. Let's find out if you're just thinking. Hopefully it's just your thoughts and you can get out of it. Chariot, you're still thinking. Some of you are still thinking about the past and how chaotic it was and how it didn't move forward. And remember, do not blow away this good opportunity that's coming towards you. Can I get another card for the Six of Cups and the Chariot in reverse? Yeah, you're going to have to get out of your head. You're going to have to take this advice. You're going to have to take this advice so you can get the victory and put away the negatives like the Princess of Wands brings, which is irrationality. And so you can grab your abundance. And things are coming towards you that are positive. But you have been ill or something or depressed or stuck, whatever it is, or the people around you are, and, and they're feeling this way and they're coming towards you this way. But you're going to have to break free. And get this out of your head that it's not, it's not going to happen because it can happen if you let it come in. And it will if you let it come in. Choose your own path. So that is your reading. Get out of your head so success can come in and you, you have everything you want. You, you were dealing with the emperor in reverse. You may be still hearing from this person or someone like this. That is a little bit of a control freak. Because that's what the emperor is in reverse is. They're, they're trying to be controlling. Or you could be trying to be controlling. It can go either way. But this has to, you know, you want to curb this. Know, know that whatever is, is controlling this, you're going to have to put it from you so you can recover for a little while. And regain your balance. And so th good things can come in. And I mean good things. I'm not talking about a couple of dollars you won off the lottery. Okay? I'm talking stability. Something offers something to you. And hopefully you don't mess it, miss it because you're still in your head. And that is your reading, Gemini. And I will let this go. Look for things that are come, good coming your way so you don't miss it. You've got to look for it. You've got to open your eyes. You've got to open the door. You've got to go out. You've got to talk to people. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye.